five minutes away from the ocean. It's a beautiful place, and we can do all sorts of things, such as swimming and surfing. I don't want to see it get polluted. At the same time, global warming is getting worse. We need to act now, or else our generation will have to suffer the effects. The temperatures will rise, and so will the sea levels. Also, when people dump oil down the drain, the grease clogs up the town sewer system. This is very expensive to fix. Instead of waiting around, I did something to help. I took action. I'm Cassandra Lynn, and I helped start Project TGIF, Turn Grease Into Fuel. Project TGIF does exactly what it sounds like. We recycle old cooking oil and grease and turn it into biodiesel fuel. Each liter of petroleum-based diesel replaced by a liter of biodiesel offsets 2.4 kilograms of carbon dioxide from being released into the atmosphere. We asked local restaurants to donate their grease to be recycled. To date, we have over 48 restaurants participating in this program. We also set up a waste cooking oil center for the residents to recycle their grease. We worked with Grease Co., a local company, to collect the grease from the restaurants and recycling center. They then bring the grease to Mason's Biodiesel, where it is converted into biodiesel. Another local company called Guardian Fuel picks up the new biofuel and distributes it to our local charitable organizations, such as the Warm Shelter and the Bradford Darnick Center. The biofuel is used for emergency heating funds. We raised awareness of our project to get more people involved. We handed out more than 2,500 flyers at supermarkets and made a radio commercial to encourage people to recycle their waste cooking oil. We also made presentations to our town council and to our local elementary schools to tell them about our project. Will you help us recycle grease? Yes, we will. Diesel is also extremely renewable. This is because it is derived from plants like corn, soybeans, and algae. Global warming from Toronto. Name two greenhouse gases, methane and water. restaurants to recycle their waste cooking oil to have it converted into biofuel. They had the town of Westerly establish a public cooking oil recycling facility at the Westerly's transfer station in November 2008. They raised awareness of recycling waste cooking oil by making many presentations, distributing 2,500 flyers, and broadcasting a radio commercial to area residents. With 30 restaurants participating, along with numerous residents, the team was able to collect more than 3,000 gallons of grease per month to date. something you know with uh, biodiesel and, and vehicles a few years ago um, we were just told basically well it hasn't been done in Rhode Island before so we can't do it and um, you've proven that wrong by doing this and so something that you guys you guys have done this you've gone out and you've just it's it's great and hopefully you serve as a model for us so when we start talking about biodiesel for our our trucks and stuff in the town and someone tells us no we can't do it or it's gonna cost more money or this and that we can say hey this group of kids from school did it and they put us to shame. So thank you for doing this because you've started Westerly along that path. So thank you. Yes, thank you. Expand our project. We hope to have 70 restaurants by the end of this year and 120 by the end of 2010. This will allow us to produce 30,000 liters of biodiesel per month, which offsets 750,000 kilograms of carbon dioxide from being released into the atmosphere every year. To broaden our impact, we are also expanding our project to neighboring towns, such as Warwick, Narragansett, and Mystic. Now we can all agree that Rhode Island is small, but we're a part of this world, and we can make a difference. <laughs>